Hey guys, I am back now for day three and we're going to do some more gift wrapping. I need to um, get some of these cast iron things put together. So I'm going to show you this first one and what I'm planning to pair with it. So I've got this eat sign that I purchased um, quite a while back from Hauler. Actually, I had it in my gift stash. So I'm going to put that with this. And then I've also got this flower sack towel from the Dollar Tree that I'm going to put in there. And then I've got these Kind Clusters, um, dark chocolate nuts and sea salt. I've also got these uh, dark chocolate goji berries. And Trader Joe's milk and dark chocolate sea salt caramel popcorn. And I've got these Charles Chocolates Caramel Almond Sticks. These are really good. Then I've got one of the Melted Chocolate S'mores Candles. And the Woodwick Vanilla Bean Wax Melts. Then I also have two, um, these two mugs here by uh, Soho that I'm planning to try and add in there. And also this little uh, sign from the Dollar Tree. So now the eat sign, I'm going to have to, I'm either going to have to wrap that separately or I'm going to have to totally take it out of the box and display it in the basket. So I don't know what I should do. Um, so anyway, I've got some red shred and I'm just going to put some of this in here. A lot of the, I probably should. Maybe I should put the items in first to see how many blank, how much blank space we actually have in here. Let's see. Um, these to be protected so maybe I'll put I'll just put some more shred in those spots should I keep the candle stuff out of this I don't even know if I've got enough room for that in here let's see should get something to put in these mugs. Let me go see if I can find some tea or something to put in there. Okay, I had a brand new box of this peppermint tea. So I'm just going to open up some of these and throw them in there so that the cups aren't empty. And they like tea, so... go and I'm gonna go ahead and sell it well now I guess is when there's really not room if I wanted to unbox this right I would have to feed it through there and I don't really want to do that because what if she decides she doesn't like it or she doesn't want to use it I think I'm gonna wrap this separately and then I'll cellophane wrap this and just gift them to them like that before I wrap this up, I realized that I forgot to put one of the Pampered Chef 
um, teak things in there. I wanted to add one, so I'm going to do the wooden corner spoon. So I'm glad that I remembered before I got done wrapping it. Okay, so I am going to keep the little paper in there. I think I'm just going to stick it right behind that kind cluster. And then, I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Just these items again, they kind of shifted a little bit when I was getting it into the wrap. There we go, good enough. Okay, I'll be right back to show you. Okay, so I'm all done, and I just tied a burlap ribbon to it. it good now the only part that I hate about making a bunch of gift baskets is storing them because it, there's no room to shove them all under the tree um, and it'll ruin it you know just and stuff will jostle around and so that's the only bad thing but good thing we've got this spare room until my daughter gets here so everything's just gonna be uh, stored in here gift basket wise anyway Plus, I don't want to take a chance with all this chocolate under the tree because my dogs, it would be just my luck they would get into the chocolate. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day today and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.